Welcome to your 29th beginning Java tutorial. Today we're going to look at methods in detail and specifically we're going to do the two main ways to pass a value. One is to do the literal value and the literal value is exactly that. It's the actual number and the other is to go ahead and pass by reference where we're actually using the name here. I will point out that there is no difference between the two. In other words, both are sending values to the method that they are calling. So just remember that. In this case right here, we are actually passing the value, that this 5. That's what goes through here. So just keep that in mind. So in the first case, let's go ahead and we're going to pass this value into this method class 1 right here. And it's going to go right to these brackets first. And this also can be whatever I want to call it. Again, this is just a reference. It's a placeholder. That's why I like to actually type that in there. It's a placeholder for the value, which will be passed into the method, and then do whatever work we want with that value. So let's go ahead and run this and we get a 95. So let's take a look what happened here. We put in the literal value right here and called the method class one. The method class one received it right here, the integer 45, and it passed it to the method so that the method could execute it. The method then went ahead and we here you'll notice we did a this. So basically what we do is here as we switch this from a local variable to the class level variable which is up here and said class level variable which is up here plus placeholder. So 45 plus 50. And of course the constructor set the value initially to 50. And so the object variable had that value and then we just simply added 45 to that. And then we set it to do a return. And then the method hits the end of this brace and his work is done. Now he knows to go ahead and do a return because of the return keyword. And he also knows what data type to return. That's why we have to put an int here. We have to tell the method what type of data type is being returned. And in this case, this final value now is 95. And that gets returned to the calling method. And then the method takes over. And of course, now this value is at 95. Now let's go ahead and do another call to the method child class. And we'll just put this in here. So now we're going to go ahead and run this and we got 60. Now you might be wondering how come I got 60 this time and 15? Well, I'll show you what happened. So this got executed first because it was first in the list. It went up here and did a call to this method child class and set the variable to 15 and then of course returned to 15. And the object was also set to 15. That's the value we set to. Now keep in mind in the constructor we had set that to 50 but this method here overwrote what the constructor did remember constructors always come first and then methods come second so the method resets it to 15 then then this method went ahead and invoked method child class 1 and so this is no longer adding a 50 here it's adding a 15 plus 45 and that is how we got 60. So just keep that in mind your object variable can consistently be changing as you go through your different methods which might be calling different methods and doing different things. Okay let's go over this one and this will be pretty quick. So in this one we're not actually putting the value in we're doing a reference by value but like I said this is the value even though we put the variable name here it's actually the value that gets passed here and then if we go up here this again can be whatever we want to call it. in fact we could call this some really long name it doesn't matter and that's where people get confused and obviously though but since our method knows about this parameter we have to switch that and now everything's fine so again the calling name does not have to match what's in the method that's being called the parameter so let's go ahead and run this and you can see we got five, which we expected. Okay, so that's pretty much it for methods. I hope that helped. And just remember the one thing that you need to remember is that the value always gets passed no matter what. It's the value. So don't get fooled by these names and stuff. It's the actual value. Okay, I will see you guys in the next video.